Hey there, I'm Sean Powers, and I am sure that you are familiar with URL shorteners, things like Bitly, where you can take a really long URL and shrink it down into a really tiny thing that's easy to type and easy to remember. Now, Bitly specifically, I used years ago, and I would take my really long blog URLs and shrink them down to something really usable. I had a bunch of short links for all the different things that I would send people to. Unfortunately, Bitly decided that they were no longer valid and they just stopped working, even though I had them embedded into videos and all of those things. So I decided that I would make my own or come up with my own URL shortening way so that I didn't have to depend on a third party to shorten links for me. And I found Yorls. Now, I'm not sure that I'm saying that right, but Yorls is a, is a free open source program. It's incredibly powerful and it's easy to install. So let me show you why I did it and then we'll go through it together. Now, admittedly, the hardest part about coming up with a URL shortener is getting a domain. So I managed to get Snarco, which is S-N-A-R dot C-O, and I installed URLs on it. In fact, it's auto-completing here, but slash Y-T is a short URL that will take you directly to my YouTube page right here. Oh, no. We don't need to hear me talk, uh, but that's all it does. Snarko, that's the toughest part, coming up with a short domain. But I have another domain that we're going to use just as an example, and it's cloud.brainofshawn.com. Now, I know this is not short, but, it, you know, I mean, it's shorter than like a super long URL with lots of folders. Uh, and this is going to be a perfect example. Now, cloud.brainofshawn.com is just a Linux server that is running Apache 2, PHP, and it has MySQL installed, and that's it. All right, so we're going to install URLs your, from scratch on this server. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the URLs website, R-O-U-L-S dot org, and you can see all this really cool stuff about it. It's open source. They give you screenshots, but at the bottom, it says you can download it. So click on download URLs. It'll take you to their GitHub page. Scroll down, just get the source code. I'm going to just copy this link. So copy link, and then we're going to head over to the cloud server. I'm just SSH'd into it, and I want to download this directly into the var www.html folder. In fact, if you look right now, I just have an empty folder waiting for something to go in it, into it. So wget, going to paste that link, press enter. All right, so now we're going to unzip that file. It's going to put it in a folder. Now I want everything in the root folder. So I'm going to say copy minus R yourls dot into dot my current folder. This is just going to copy everything in there, including hidden files into my current directory. And then we can get rid of that folder. So R minus RF yourls do an LS. All that stuff that was in that folder is now in here. I'm going to keep the zip file in case I mess up and want to re-extract it to start over. Now, before we actually get this going, I need to create a database for it. So I'm just going to say MySQL minus U URLs dash P. And I'm going to say create database URLs semicolon, create that database and quit. Now, I'm just assuming that you're comfortable on the Linux command line. If you're not, I have a lot of training at CBT Nuggets. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to some of my training for things like setting up Apache and things like that. But assuming you're comfortable with Linux, I'm going to walk you through this stuff like we just did. It won't be too hard. And you'll see just how quick it is to get URLs up and running. Anyway, we have the database created. We have all the files. If we go over to their install page... So back on the URLs website, install upgrade, it looks like we have to copy config-sample.php to config.php, uh, and then we need to edit that, and we already have the database created, and we just go to the admin page. So let's do that. We'll go into the user folder, and inside here I have that config sample, so I'm going to say copy config sample to config.php, and I'm going to edit config.php. And this is just where we're going to change our settings. So for example, database user urls, database password is actually currently urls too. This is not secure. This is not how you should do it. Uh, but I'm just doing this as an example. Then I'll delete everything. So you can't like hack into my server later on. But anyway, so your database user, password, name. If it's on a different host, you can put where your host is. Mine's just on localhost. Database prefix, that's fine. Site options. All right, this is what we need to change. It's going to be cloud.brainofshawn.com. Uh, my time zone. All right, I'll change that. What the heck? I'm four behind right now. Language, we'll leave that to default. URLs true, private true, leave all that the same. And then right here, cookie key. Uh, this is just so that it randomizes our passwords. So I'll just put some junk in there. All right, now I can set up a username and password. So username, we're going to say the username 
at first is admin and the password, you guessed it, yourls. All right, now it's going to encrypt it after the first time that we set this up, which is kind of cool. And uh, then it'll still be the same, but it'll be encrypted. So if somebody snoops, snoops at our password or at our file here, they won't see it. And it looks like, all right, that's about all we're gonna change. Now, if we do an LS minus L, all right, it looks like root owns all this. So let's go back and I'm gonna say ch own dash r www data www data star and that's because yorls needs to be able to write to that config file so i want to make sure that the web server owns all of it so it looks like it's all good there all right so we have all that set up the database is set up the config file is set up if we go to the browser back to cloud.brainofshawn dot here and we were to say forward slash admin all right look at that it's working so far install yorls here we do cross our fingers Aha, all right, it was able to create that HT access file, which it's going to need to do that redirecting stuff. Everything is good. Go to our URLs administration page. Let's try to log in, admin, URLs. Ha ha ha, all right. No, I don't wanna save this password. All right, so this is all set up. It said, could not auto encrypt the password. Hmm, that must be an issue with, let's see, go into user. S minus L looks like config. Oh, it's read only. It should have been able to, but let's change that really quick to chmod 666config.php. All right, so now it should be able to write to it. I really want it to be able to encrypt that password. So let's hit refresh. All right, no error message. It looks like it encrypted it. We'll check that in a second. But now we can say, all right, I want to change or enter the URL HTTP s colon forward slash forward slash youtube.com forward slash sean powers and i want the custom short url to be uh youtube all right click shorten the link all right it looks like this should work now and it ch changed the link over here so we have settings right there let's go to a new tab and say cloud.brainofshawn.com forward slash youtube and see if it takes us and it automatically directs to that same page. And there, I'm talking again. So we're going to stop that one more time. Now, there's some really cool things, too. Once things actually start going, you can look at the statistics right here. We can see we had one click where it went through. But this is really cool because it'll show you the traffic, where it's from, uh, all sorts of things about the links. In fact, I'll show you really quickly. If we go to snar.co forward slash water cooler and then we put a plus after it this will take us directly to the stats page for my water cooler shortcut and this will show us all sorts of things up oh, i need to update that's one of the things it'll show me uh, but it looks like we have traffic location all the different places that people have used that from um refers what refers like every time i post a link to twitter where people clicked from and it'll actually show us all this stuff, like it looks like just over 2,200 times it's been used, about eight times per day. People go to Water Cooler Wednesday by clicking on my snarko forward slash water cooler short link. And now I know I went through that really, really quickly, but my point is that if you have a LAMP stack installed with mod rewrite and uh, make sure that you can use HT access files and all of those Apache things, and you have PHP running, my MySQL running, you can get your own URL shortener really quickly up and running, and you can make your own custom links you can edit them you can see stats on them and you don't have to worry about places like bitly removing things and having them not work for you especially if you embed them in videos grr anyway uh, i hope to see you next time and check this out i hope it's fun i've also installed this with docker so if you're a docker person it's pretty easy to install with docker things like that anyway it's a lot of fun i encourage you to try it out and i'll see you next time